Hi guys, in this video we will upload our WordPress localhost files and database to my web hosting server. We will upload the files first, then we will create a database for my website, then we will create a domain email. First, let's do the upload for my WordPress files. There have two ways to upload the WordPress files. The first way is the file manager. The second way is the FTP by a FileZilla. Just download this FTP client. This, download this and install to your computer. I already installed to my computer, which is this, FileZilla. And also download the editor for editing the WP config. Download this editor here okay let's access my domain which is already up and running in the live this is live already guys since my domain name and web hosting propagated back to admin let's do the first way let's access this website by FTP and see these files and rename this home page I can log in to my web hosting files via FileZilla with my cPanel username and password which is given by Stablehost email when we purchase this package or you can create a new FTP account via this option. Okay, click this and add new and enter my site name. And the host which is my primary domain name and the cpanel username and password and choose this protocol to sftp and click connect if this pop up check this and okay Okay guys, this is the web directory of my website. Click this public HTML and this is the page. You can access this directory through the file manager and let's see in the file manager version. New tab. This directory and the FileZilla directory is the same in the file manager. As you see, I click the public HTML and this is also the public HTML directory. And if you use FileZilla in editing the web files like this, click this edit, settings, and be sure your transfer maximum simultaneous transfer is 10. And file editing option, be sure to choose the Notepad++ to edit the files. And also in the file type association is unchecked and click OK. OK, let's right click and view edit. OK, this is the file. This HTML script is this page. Okay, let's edit and try, remove this all and test Axel, save and click the FileZilla and yes, the file are re-uploading and save and reload this, reload. And as you see, the text appear when I edit the page. That's Axel. Let's delete this. Delete. Delete. You can upload this WordPress file directly in the FileZilla. Drag and upload by here. But it takes time. Let me show you what I mean. Let's create a test file to see what you get. 
HTML index yes and let's edit this and test upload this file like this example guys drag and upload to the web server directory your main URL okay already upload reload control F5 Axel hey okay guys you can upload this WordPress local files by dragging to the FTP but it takes time to if you want to do fast use the file manager in the C panel we will do in the file manager highlight this and send to zip this is the fast way to upload the WordPress local files to the live instead using of the FTP filezilla okay now this is the zip of my wordpress local files let's rename this to any name click this upload and upload the zip file let's drag drag to the drag and now uploading and now it's finally complete let's back to the home public html click this to go back and this is the zip file we upload click and right click and extract the zip file extract extract to the public dash html underscore html sorry extract and as you see the wordpress zip is extracted close and this is the file wordpress local files and now we're in live web server delete this zip file delete delete and now our wordpress local files are going to live let's create a database for this to the main create the database new tab i say guys this database name and username and password which is very sensitive which is not gonna be shown in public but this course wordpress tutorial for beginners okay let's test this for now but i will rename this which is this course will be published this is the database name copy this database name which is we put to the wordpress wp config this is the database name i will rename this guys after this course and let's add a database username test Axel user copy to notepad this is the database username database name you user and strong password we generate a very very strong password and hardly to guess copy or generate copy and paste the database password and let's check and use the password and create a username go back and as you see we have a database username where are you ah this this is the database user and the database we created oop i forgot i miss i didn't save copy again save 
create database okay the database are created let's check this is the database i create and the username database username let's go to the php my admin right click let's close this this is the live PHP admin of my website. This is the database I created in this section. And let's upload the SQL file to here. Click and export. Oop, no tables found. Import, I'm sorry, import. And the max upload size file is 50 megabytes. Choose file and upload the database SQL file of our WordPress localhost site. Upload and hit go. And now our database are successfully imported, which is same database in our WordPress localhost. And let's rename the WP config to the FileZilla version. You can do this guys in the file manager too. Let's do it in the file manager. For the easiest way, file manager. Right click, code edit. Edit. And let's rename this database name this is the database name database name and the database username and the database password which is blank and the local host but now we're in live there have a password and save yes save save changes and let's access the live site. Control F5 in your keyboard. Oop, what happened? Let's check. I guess, guys, I have a mistake in the username or password. Let's backtrack and then real quick. Back to main and click this, my SQL. Sorry for this, guys. Let's backtrack my username. I create the database my username yes i have a mistake in the username which is miss typo remove this this is the username i created and i forgot to add the permission of this username to use to the database which is this option add user to the database and Choose the database and click add. Add this username to the database permission. And check all privileges and make changes. Okay, go back. And let's back to the editor. WP config and replace this miss typo username. database is correct username is correct and password is correct and save changes and let's reload finally Control f5 in your keyboard and now guys my website icraft wp is live in the internet and as you see it's live now up and running in the live and i'm happy too in the next video, we will log in in the admin site and let's see. And we will rename some data and database to run perfectly this website. See you next video. Bye.